I'm going to talk about the DVD-43 and the DVD Region Killer. They're two programs that you can download for free and install on your computer. They are both already installed on this computer. This computer runs on Windows Vista. I've used those programs successfully on Windows XP and Windows 7 as well. These programs allow you to watch any DVD of any region code whenever you like. Your computer or most computers are usually set to a certain region. You can on some computer change that region code for like five times or something and then you're stuck on whatever region you're on. These programs allow you to to bypass the region restrictions on your uh, DVD player and make it a multi-region player so you can play any DVD you want. Down here on the taskbar there is the little yellow smiley icon which is the DVD 43 the way to turn it off is to right click and exit. Now it's turned off. This little red planet is the DVD region killer. When it's red it's turned off. To turn it on you right click it and you select enable DVD region killer. And the planet turns green. Blue. To turn it off again right click it and unselect enable DVD region killer. One way to find out which region that your computer's DVD player set to is by clicking on a DVD region killer and selecting check drive regions. And you get drive E is not region free, current region 2. That means that the DVD player on this computer is currently set to region 2. When you're watching a DVD that's the same region as your computer's DVD player is set to, in this case region 2, you can watch a DVD with, without either of the two programs being turned on. So you can turn them both off. If you're watching a DVD that is another region, you must turn only one of them on at a time. If you turn them both on at the same time, they will not work. In order to turn the DVD-43 on, which is the green smiley, which is up here, double click on this icon and it reappears down here, grows horns as it detects the wrong code and turns green when it's ready for you to watch. The reason that I have two of these installed or why you could possibly install both of them is because sometimes it might happen that one of them doesn't work on a certain DVD and in any case that this has happened to me the other one did work. You just have to make sure that you only ever turn on one of them and you switch the other one off. You cannot have them turned on at the same time. You can have them installed at the same time, but you must deactivate one of them and only turn one of them on. If you're watching a DVD that is the same code as your DVD player's region code, may not work if they're turned on so you'll ha you might have to turn them both off. They also allow you to copy DVDs with your normal burning programs so you don't have to buy a DVD cloner. Just be responsible about the copyrights. Sometimes on this Windows Vista for instance when I take out the DVD and I put in another one um, the DVD player doesn't recognize that there is a DVD in the drive. In that case, I usually use the DVD-43. What I have to do is exit, turn it off, and then turn it back on again, and then it recognizes it. Or sometimes I have to turn it off 
take the DVD out, put it in again, and then turn it on. That always takes care of that particular bug. I hope this was helpful.